I genuinely get mad on air. People ask me all the time, is that an act? And I think it could be an act as far as I let myself get angry. But most of the time, there isn't even 1% of acting in what I'm doing. I'm sitting around acting silly. It's, it's, it's me having fun. But I was telling the story about the Dallas cops being ordered to not let us demonstrate peacefully on a sidewalk. And uh, how I blew up at them and got mad at them. And how I probably shouldn't have gotten that mad, but they were robbing us of our birthright. And I started getting mad. Because it was coming back to me it, it, just how pathetic this is. It's the same thing. We're overrun by the globalists. They're, they're destroying the country. And they're bringing us into something really horrible. It's not like we're being conquered by, you know, the Greeks or something. And we're some, you know, group living in squalor and our life's about to get better. 2,500 years ago or whatever. We're being conquered by the eugenicist New World Order who absolutely plan to kill us. James Bond, do you expect me to talk, Goldfinger? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. There's no quarter, there's no games, there's no... And that's what's so frustrating about all this, is that I really know I'm telling the truth. I really know what the stakes are. And it's a Twilight Zone episode. It should be a no-brainer to get out of this, folks. We just have to admit how much trouble we're in. I mean, I read these quotes here where Obama is you know, saying, okay, pull out of Crimea or that's it. They're still saying that. That's in uh, the Hill. Obama says Putin at breaking point. Got another one here out of, uh, trying to find it out of Bloomberg where he says, all right, I'm giving you another ultimatum. Here it is. Obama says Putin must pull back on Crimea annexation. I mean, it's not happening. Romney calls it the price of failed leadership because he brought up Ukraine and uh, Obama said that you know, that wasn't going to be an issue. Well, I mean, they all knew that they were planning back in 97 under Brzezinski to launch an attack to take over most of the country. They predicted the Russians would grab Crimea. That's the default position to grab something that's already been part of Russia. So again, they did act on Crimea. They grabbed 90 plus percent of the country of Ukraine. And they, that's Romney and them giving Obama right cover. Remember, remember Romney helped write Obamacare and got it passed in Massachusetts. The same screw job model. That's why we're in so much trouble. That's why we've got to take over the Republican Party and the Democratic Party. And that could happen if people started realizing just how evil these two parties are. People say, well, just create a new party. They've already rigged everything. You want to take these parties over. And believe me, it can be done with our ideas because our ideas are so much pop more popular than what the globalists are selling and pushing. Now, finally, this transmission is listener supported. And we have come out with a fourth product at InfoWarsLife.com. I guess a fifth if you count the great organic coffee from Southern Mexico. That's my favorite blend, personally, that we've uh, put out. Directly buying it from the Chiapas uh, farmers there in the high mountains, volcanic soil. The Wake of America, we got two different blends. And all your purchases support the broadcast. We now have what I dubbed the silver bullet. And to put it to you this way, we could have got colloidal silver a million places and private labeled it. It took us about eight months to finally get this. We got a limited amount. More is going to be coming in. But it is selling out very, very quickly. Uh, silver bullet is the strongest colloidal silver and one of the smallest nano size particles, and that's what they say you want, it's really small. And the place made us the biggest batch they've ever produced. Uh, and they said that, uh, well, they sent us the test. It, it, it is silver bullet. Consult your physician before you use it. Uh, I wish I would have had something this strong back when I had strep throat a few weeks ago and didn't know it. I was taking silver and it did finally knock it out. Uh, but it was uh, extremely painful. Uh, th this stuff is strong. But I'm going to tell you, again, consult your physician because if you use too much silver, there's side effects. You have to drink, you know, a lot of it. You know, they say people, some people go crazy and drink hundreds of bottles a year of it and their skin turns blue. You will literally turn into a Gamelon. You know, Star Blazers, the animated cartoon from the 80s where the Gamelons are blue-skinned uh, humanoids. I mean, you, you will turn blue. So I'm going to throw that out there to everybody. Uh, but, but it is an amazing antibiotic, topically, you name it. It's Silver Bullet. Uh, in fact, will you somebody bring me some silver bullet in? 
I've got one of our new products coming out. I'm not going to announce it right here in my hand. Uh, but somebody run me over some Silver Bullet. I had some Silver Bullet and uh, took it home in here yesterday. Let me take my Survival Shield right now. Mm. Keeps me going. But anyways, all those, all those purchases uh, at InfoWarsLife.com make the broadcast possible. And you have my pledge. We will have the highest levels of testing. We will have the highest levels of quality. We will bring you the very best we can get in an industry-wide deep research, whether it's a Super Metal Vitality, the Fluoride Shield, the Survival Shield, the Silver Bullet. It's all available at InfoWarsLife.com, along with all the Molon Labe t-shirts and the rest of it. By the way, that Molon Labe design I came up with is now getting grabbed everywhere being circulated is extremely popular. I knew that shirt would be our best seller ever. And well, we've got those available as well. Okay, here's Silver Bullet. We have it in multiple different sizes, but it's uh, in a big uh, two ounce bottle. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is powerful. And again, um, you can see it right there. You notice it's not clear, folks, it's a uh, gold. And it is powerful compared to, I mean, I've got dozens of forms of colloidal silver at home for topical, you name it. Uh, anytime I got a sore throat, you name it, give to the dogs. Uh, this this stuff, just just look out because we, we only bring you high-powered stuff. Silver bullet, colloidal silver, dietary supplement. Uh, and it's got deionized water and silver. Contains no yeast, anything. So there you go. And we've got the best laboratory in the country we could find. Eight months search. Well, it was about six months search. The two months to produce this. It's dangerous when they produce this. It's like a, like a Frankenstein movie with the electricity and stuff when they make this. Okay. Uh, so there you go. Available at InfoWarsLife.com if you want that. And it's going to sell out like I thought in about a week. But then we'll get more in, but it, it, it will probably be a while. And that's not a sales act to say it sells out. You've seen it sell out for a month before the fluoride shield or uh, the survival shield. Infowarslife.com. Okay, we're going to go to your calls now. 800-259-9231. Uh, let's talk to Julio, longtime caller. I recognize him if it's the same Julio. He's not even reporting for us in Illinois. What's your take on all this? 60 seconds. Uh, it is the same Julio, Alex football as well. Uh, it, it, we're going through some crazy times, my friend. And you just hit, you just spoke about how dangerous both of these parties are. I mean, we are really dealing with a bunch of psychopaths, a bunch of narcissists, sociopaths. I mean, you name it. We're dealing with some dangerous people. And again, this isn't the United States people uh, endorsing uh, an invasion of Ukraine or invasion of Crimea. This is the corporate state. This is Chevron getting set to make billions of dollars in the oil fields and the gas regions of Ukraine and Crimea. This is Monsanto and all the other agriculture businesses set to make billions of dollars, pennies on the dollar, taking over the breadbasket of Europe, of Europe that is Ukraine. Uh, we are really dealing with some crazy people. John McCain this morning is at a town hall in Arizona trying to sell his constituents on just how dangerous uh, Vladimir Putin is and how we need to invade the Ukraine. It's really... It's That's really right. Time's up. You're absolutely right. They're calling for military action against the Russians. And again, John Corzine made 40 to 1 bets with other people's money, and he used to head up Goldman Sachs that basically runs the U.S. And that shows an example of these people. And he got away with it. Let's go to the next caller. Thank you, Julio. Giving each caller one minute. Let's talk to Ironhead in Washington. Go ahead, Ironhead. Hey there, Pumpkinhead. Pumpkinhead and Ironhead. Front row seats on the boxcars on the way to the re-education centers, right? Watching in-game reruns. Okay, I'm going to talk fast. I'm going to give you a triune aphorism to how the capstone is being laid. I'll state the premise that there is no individual countries anymore. They're all laid in at the top level. And it goes to three things that I came into contact with. Number one, I met an individual about 10 years ago who was not only close personal friends with Larry McDonald, he was also supposed to be on that airplane that was blown out of the sky, Flight 007. Off air, I'll give you his name. <clears throat> it would be a great segue into a Larry McDonald crossfire interview that uh, Rue Kaiser and uh, Pat Buchanan laid. Number two, that's proof that Russia, that <clears throat> plane took over that plane. It was definitely as a control measure by the oligarchic control, control structure at the top level. Number two, back in I'm going to put you on hold. You can give us your info if you want. We can't get to everybody if I don't give you just a minute. Larry McDonald, 
was a Democrat, was the head of the John Birch Society, basically, was a patriot, was smart, good looking. He was going to end up being president. They brought him down. They killed him. And it's been proven. You're absolutely right. Uh, they were scared of him. Um, flight 007. Look it up, folks. She's like the Malaysia flight. Let's talk to Nick in California. You're on the air. So, President, my butterflies. Metaphor. <laughs> hey, uh, you're um, a little bit distorted. I couldn't understand that. Go ahead. Okay. Since the federal government shut down, every single engine plane bugging me disappeared. Uh, when Obama signed the debt ceiling measure in the law, they're right back, but they're a little through. But when he signs that thing, he uh, the takeovers, they still the financing is still there. And that's that's where Crimea River goes in. Um, um uh, the idiot you win. Uh, rodeo music, you know, it, it suppresses the noise and the tennis. They want to take the the noise out of the grunts. It's a suppression. I, I just switched subjects because I'm 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 so off. 